Thank you for joining us Around the Fire. For more information or to make a donation, please visit randomactnetwork.com. Now, want to hear a scary story? on the outskirts of town, Maria lay in bed, unable to sleep. She had been feeling uneasy for days, as if someone or something was watching her. She tried to tell herself that it was just her imagination, but the feeling persisted. Suddenly, she heard a strange noise outside her window. It sounded like the wailing of a woman, high and piercing. Maria sat up in bed, her heart pounding in her chest. She listened for a moment, and the noise grew louder and more urgent. She realized with a sickening feeling that this was the sound of La Llorona, the weeping woman. La Llorona was a legendary figure in Mexico, a ghostly woman who was said to have drowned her own children in a fit of jealous rage. Her spirit was said to roam the country, wailing for her lost children and seeking revenge on those who had wronged her. Maria had heard the stories of La Llorona since she was a child, but she had never believed in them. Now, as the sound grew closer, she realized that there was something terrifyingly real about the legend. She scrambled out of bed and ran to the window, peering out into the darkness. She could just make out a figure in the distance, a woman in a long white dress, her hair streaming in the wind. The woman was wailing louder now, and Maria felt a cold sweat breaking out on her forehead. Suddenly, the woman turned and looked directly at Maria. Her eyes were so dark and filled with hatred, and Maria felt a chill run down her spine. She stumbled backwards, tripping over a chair and falling to the ground. The woman was getting closer now, and Maria knew that she had to run. She scrambled to the door, fumbling with the lock in her panic. Finally, the door swung open, and she bolted outside into the pouring rain. She ran blindly through the streets, not daring to look back. The sound of La Llorona's wailing echoed in her ears, and she could feel the woman's eyes on her back. She knew that she was being chased, and that she was in mortal danger. Finally, she reached the town square, where a group of people had gathered to watch the storm. They turned to stare as she ran towards them, her hair plastered to her face and her eyes wild with fear. La Llorona, she cried. She's after me. The people looked at her in confusion, but Maria could see the fear in their eyes. They knew the legend of La Llorona and that she was not to be trifled with. Suddenly, the wailing grew louder, and the people turned as one to face the source of the sound. Coming towards them, they saw La Llorona, her dress streaming in the wind, eyes fixed on Maria. The people scattered, running in all directions, but Maria stood frozen on the spot. The air had suddenly become freezing cold, and she knew that her time had come. But then something strange happened. The sound of the wailing faded away, and the figure of La Llorona began to dissolve like mist in the wind. Maria watched in amazement as the ghostly woman disappeared into nothingness, leaving only the sound of the rain and the thunder in her wake. For a moment, Maria stood there, stunned and bewildered. She had been so certain that she was going to be killed. Slowly, Maria began to make her way back to her house. She was still shaking from the experience, and she couldn't shake the feeling that something had changed in her, something that she couldn't quite understand. Over the next few days, Maria found herself becoming increasingly obsessed with the legend of La Llorona. She spent hours reading everything she could find about the ghostly woman, poring over old books and talking to anyone with a story to share. 
She talked to the old women in the town who had known the legend since childhood, and she scoured the archives of the local newspaper for any mention of La Llorona. There were reports of sightings of the ghostly woman stretching back over a hundred years, and the stories of children who disappeared, never to be seen again. And there were rumors of a secret cult that worshipped La Llorona, performing dark rituals in her name, even sacrificing children so that she could live on. Underneath the sensational stories, Maria realized that there was more to La Llorona than she had ever imagined. The legends were not just about a vengeful ghost. They were about a woman who had suffered greatly, driven to madness by her own grief and despair. Her sympathy for the woman grew, as she understood how the pain of loss can be too much to bear. One night, Maria was walking home from the library, lost in thought, when she felt a sudden, sharp pain in her side. She looked down and saw that she had been stabbed with a knife, a deep gash running across her abdomen. She stumbled backwards, gasping for breath, and saw a figure in the darkness. A woman in a long, white dress. And then she saw another. And another. And Maria knew that she was going to die. As she fell to the ground bleeding, surrounded by women in white dresses, she could feel herself slipping away. And as she did, the ghostly woman appeared, standing out from the others with a slight glow. And Maria knew that it was the real La Llorona. Beneath the layers of agony, Maria felt a strange feeling of peace. She had found something that she had been searching for her entire life. She had found the truth.